In this screencast, uh, we'll um, uh, use uh, the bounded minimalization to show that the floor function uh, is primitive recursive on natural numbers. Uh, so let x and y be uh, uh, two natural numbers, and uh, the floor of x and y is defined as the integer part of the ratio x and y, and it is primitive recursive. Um, so, um, for example, the floor of uh, 3 over 2 is equal to 1. Uh, the floor of uh, 1 over 2 is equal to 0. Um, floor of uh, phi over, uh, let's take um, 3, is uh, the floor uh, is equal to also 1. Okay. Um, so let's um, uh, try to gain some insight before we give um, uh, the formal definition of this function through the bounded minimization. So let, um, uh, 2 times uh, 0 is equal to uh, 0. Well, then we're assuming that we're trying to compute uh, the floor of 3 over 2. 2 times 1 is equal to uh, 2. And uh, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And that's 1 over um, uh, one, one, 1 greater than 3. So we can stop and uh, the answer that we get is 1. Okay, so let's consider another example. 10 over um, 3. Okay, let's again go through a, um, a sequence of uh, multiplications. So 3 um, over 0, um, beginning from 0, because we, we're gonna, we'll be using bounded minimization. Bounded minimization always begins uh, from 0, unless otherwise specified. It can begin at 1, but typically at 0. So 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, 3 times 2 is 6. We're still less than 10. Uh, 3 times... 3 is 9. 9 is still less than 10. But the next multiplication is 3 times 4, which is 12, and that puts us above 10, and we will stop. And the answer that we need is, uh, this is greater than 10, uh, is 3. Right, so let's um, just for clarity, uh, this is equal to 3, the floor of uh, 10 over 3, and uh, this is equal to 1. Okay. So we will uh, we keep on increasing uh, the number until we go above 10. And then the previous number um, uh, is uh, the number by which we multiply uh, the denominator. And the previous number is our answer. So. Uh, we can formalize that inside as, um, as follows. Uh, the floor of x over y, where x and y are two natural numbers, um, is going to be uh, the minimization of z uh, less than or equal to x, such that x is strictly less than z plus 1 times y. So, um, as soon as we reach um, z such that z plus 1 times y uh, puts us above x, then we found our number. So, here's an example. Uh, 3 over 2. An example. Well, we, we've done this example. This is just, uh, let's formalize this example in terms of uh, bounded minimalization. And uh, uh, if you're not familiar with bound minimization, you can watch the previous screencasts on this channel to familiarize yourself with this concept. Um, search it. Sh search the descriptions of the screencasts. So uh, min uh, uh, the minimization of z uh, less than or equal to three, uh, such that three is strictly less than z plus. 1 times 2, and z obviously is a 1, because um, uh, 1 plus 1 times 2, that's the denominator, um, is 4, which puts us strictly above 3. There's another example, uh, 10 um, over 3, floor of 10 over 3, 
and that is equal to 3, which is um, the minimization of uh, z. Uh, less than or equal to 10, that's x, uh, such that 10 is less than or equal to z plus 1 times 3.